folks, welcome back. So, um, this is gonna be a little bit different than what I'm normally used to doing. This video is gonna be a uh, get unready with me. I'm not too sure if people do that as often. First things first, I need to take off my makeup, and there are a few different ways that I take off my makeup depending on A, how I'm feeling, or if I even wanna get out of bed. The thing that I do the most often, this is called erase your face. So I think you've seen one of these before, like, like Sephora has them all the time. Microfiber cloth that you just make a little bit damp and then you take all your makeup off. Um, this one is not from Sephora. This one is actually from Amazon. It was only like eight bucks for a pack of four. So I bought two packs and I mainly use this on a day-to-day -day basis. But the thing is, is getting out of bed to like make it damp and then put it on your face. It's just... Every now and again I get a little lazy because I'm crazy, so yeah. Um, so this is 90% of the time I will always use this, which is what I'm going to use today. But two other products that I also have that I've been, like, that I use all the time. Um, this is Clean and Clear. It's a smoothing eye makeup remover. It's oil free, even though it looks like it separates from oil. And it kind of feels a bit oily on the face, but... I put this onto my face and it just kind of like dissolves all my makeup. The only thing about this one is that after I'm done using it, I have to like use a cloth or a towel just to like wipe my face off because it leaves this film that's a little bit like greasy feeling. When I do makeup swatches on my channel, I will always use this bad boy. I don't know what it is, it just dissolves all my liquid lipsticks. And then if you see like this, it will like, like I want, like this is washed, this one's washed, but it's stained. Like there are certain pieces that are just like forever stained on this cloth. Another thing that I have been using as well, this is cleanse, but I put like dabs of it all over my face. I rub it in with my hands and then I use like a damp microfiber. It's called a pull cloth or whatever. Make it a little bit damp and then you just wipe all your makeup off. It's really really nice. I choose between this one or this one to take off like my full set of makeup. I would always go into cleanse because it doesn't leave that oily feeling and I feel like literally more clean than if I use this clean and clear one. So yeah. I know people are like you, you should do a face mask like once a week or every third day or something mm, like I don't really know and I probably do a face mask like pretty much never I never do face masks really anymore Getting time away to do a face mask is like really difficult the reason why I'm doing a face mask is because I did something wrong the night prior I'm too tired to take my makeup off and I slept in my makeup don't give me hate comments I do it sometimes but if I do that where like I took off my makeup but I didn't wash my face I'll do a face mask the next day, or if I sleep in my makeup, I will literally clean my face as soon as I wake up, and then I'll do a face mask just so it, like, pulls all that, like, extra dirt out of my skin, so that's normally what I go into. I love this face mask, but I just don't have the time or money to buy a new one. Um, I'm going to be using this one today, but I have, like, a face mask left of it. Like, that's all I have left of this. But this is the Mask of Meg Naminti. So, everyone knows about this. It's from Lush. It's really, really nice. It does smell like mint. Literally just like the most refreshing mask of all times. Like it just makes me feel clean and it's the only mask I feel like the next day after I've used it, I don't get breakouts. Like I don't know, like you know when you get like a face mask and every now and again you'll like start breaking out because it's, like, it just pulls everything to the surface and you just start breaking out. It's weird. This one I never feel that way. Two other face masks that I have that are meant for like pulling like dirt out of your skin. It's normally like a regular drying face mask. I have very sensitive skin so so, so one of them I actually can't use as often. So I'm gonna go into the one that I can never use that often. Indian Healing Clay. I got this from Amazon. Um, it's literally, I didn't expect it. And it's literally powder. I was like, what am I supposed to do with this? What am I supposed to do with this? You mix the clay with equal parts of raw apple cider vinegar or water. Okay. Is when I take this mask off, I am so red. And sometimes it makes me break out a little bit afterwards, so I don't normally dip into that one. This is Detox, so it is a Skin Balancing Miracle Mask. Um, mix with water for about a teaspoon each. Apply and leave until completely dry. French green clay mask with green tea in it. So it actually smells like green tea, but this one also is one that you mix with water. 
So it's also a powder. It's just super time consuming and I don't got time to like do these like voodoo fucking spell mixing things and then put it on my face. I just want it to be already pre-mixed so I can put it on my face. The Glam and Glow Thirsty Mud, the hydrating treatment. This is hands down my favorite face mask of all time. It smells so good. I absolutely love it. This is the only one that I've repurchased in my entire life. Like the big one too. Like I've gone back and repurchased the big one. Um, I'm going to be finishing this big one off because I only have a little bit left in it and then going in with a sampler that someone else bought me. So like I'm obsessed with this face mask. Like this is my go-to like hydrating face mask. It makes me feel so good and there are times I'm like I just put it on and watch a full TV show and just let it soak and then I just like take it off my face. I feel like a new human being and a new woman and I feel beautiful. It just smells so freaking good. Uh, if I was to recommend any face mask, like if I was to get rid of everything I owned, like even makeup, I would choose this bad boy for the rest of my life. I don't know what it is. This shit is so fucking good. I love it. Mmm. Elf Hydrating Bubble Mask. So many people use this. So many people use bubble mask and it looks hilarious and I thought like this is hilarious. It is so ticklish. Anybody else? It's so ticklish. Like, when it's bubbling, I'm just like, I literally want to rip my skin off. I just want to itch my entire face off of my body. I can't, I can't do it. It is so ticklish. I don't understand. You apply a thin layer, and then it just starts to bubble, and the more that it bubbles, the more ticklish it gets. I had me, the first time I ever used this, I was doing it in front of my mom, and she thought it was really funny. And I was like, no, it's really ticklish. And she's like, let me try. She literally was like, I can't do it. She couldn't even wait five minutes. She had to take it off of her face. So because I had a hydrating mask, I don't like going in with a toner because it just rips all the like moisture that I just put back into my face. So I don't normally go in with a toner. Uh, so now I'll no normally go in with Bloom, which is my hands down my favorite thing from Crude. If I was to get rid of everything, I'd still keep this one. Uh, so this is Bloom. It is a super potent healing serum. It's combat acne and inflammation, tones and nourishes dry and damaged skin, softens stretch marks, scars, and brightens dullness and dark circles. I have fallen in love with this. It's just so nice. It's so soothing on the skin. And so I just put a few drops on my finger. I put them underneath my um, eyes. I start with my eyes and then I put uh, some on to the rest of my face. If I have more drier areas, like my chin's kind of dry of recent, I'll put like an extra drop and I'll just like go onto my chin and then also just like a little bit where I'm feeling a little bit more on the dry side, depending on how my acne is doing. But normally I'll go in with some spot treatment with the hydrocortisone cream and I will just put that spot treatment and then I'll dab it into my face. And then after that step is done, I'm pretty much set for the night. Um, that is everything I normally do at nighttime and then I just kind of go to bed. Um, I know I should do more moisturizing and toners and all this other stuff, but pretty much I just... I do my face wash, like I take my makeup off, I wash my face, I do bloom, I do hydrocortisone cream, and I go to bed because it's kind of been working for me the past little while, and when I skip a day of doing it, or even two days of doing it, like not doing bloom and hydrocortisone, I'm just taking my makeup off, that's when I feel like I start to break out a little bit more, so I just need to keep up with it, I need to keep doing that more often. Yeah, hopefully that helps you, and if you do like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, tell your friends and family, and if you like videos like this, just let me know in the comment box down down below and I'll try and do more videos like this. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next Monday and every Monday after that. Bye bye.